Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you all? Let me give you the access to the mics. Yeah, you guys can unmute yourself now. Yes, sir. Good evening. This is Saha Alam here online. Yeah, good evening, Saha. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Yes. This is we we are waiting for the other participants to join us. Let them join, and then one time we will be starting introducing each other. Okay, okay. and then we will be starting. Huh? Okay. Oh, Salam alaikum, everyone. Good evening. This side, Pajan. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. We are good. Wa alaikum assalam. Just hold on. Good evening, my name is Vijay. Good evening, my name is Vijay Kumar. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Uh, well, guys, uh, we should be starting now. The time uh, we are on time actually now uh, it's five thirty, so we should be starting. Let me start with my introduction. Or uh, I think some participants still have to join, so I would be introducing myself at the last. Till then, what I want you guys to introduce yourself to me, and for that purpose, what I want you guys to come on the mic and unmute yourself, okay, and then introduce. What, what would be the arrangement regarding that? I would be calling your names, okay, and whomever I would be calling, he would be coming only on the mic, and then he would be introducing himself, okay? Uh, one important thing that once you are introducing yourself, uh, uh, just tell us your name, your job, okay your experience and uh, why do you want to attend this session now we will be uh, starting from the top uh, and once you would be introducing yourself i want you guys to turn on your camera so that we can see your uh, smiling face huh? so the first one is uh, mr adil nasir adil nisar yes sir Hello, sir. Myself is Adil Nisar, sir. Now I am doing a job in Qatar, sir. I am a fresher in Qatar. My, my, I am, my designation is HSC officer, sir. Okay, great. And Adil, why do you want to have, why do you want to attend this session? Why do you want to attend this so training? I've done, uh, sir, I have done, a, I have to done a IGC. I have not done my IGC, so the, that's why I am doing IGC, sir. For oh, my sure. better qualification, sir. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Adil. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, next is Faizan Khan. Faizan, please come on the mic. Turn on Hello, your sir. camera. Yes, sir. Yeah, Faizan. Good evening, all of you. Am I audible? Hello? Yeah, Faizan, turn on your camera, please. One second, sir. Hello? Your... Just, just when I am going to... Hello? Just when I'm going to connect, no, it is say, saying that you cannot start your video because the host has stopped it. Host has stopped it. Wait, hold on. Uh...
now check Faisan, now check yes yeah. sir now assalamu you can alaikum good evening everyone welcome salam good evening oh. yes Faisan. my myself Faisan khan okay basically i belongs from india but currently i am in ksa although just uh, I have uh, almost four years of experience as a H HSC officer. Before yeah, this, right. I was working in India, but right now, currently, I'm working in KSA in advanced maintenance establishment. And just uh, I was uh, interested for the IGCC. I, I was interested. I, I have tried many times, but right now I, I got the opportunity. So basically, uh, just uh, I am doing these courses to enhance my skill. So that I can uh, I can serve better for the organization and for as well as for the personal growth. Very nice. Thank you, Thank you. Thank Welcome, you. sir. And now the next is uh, Fayaz Adil. Who is Hello, sir? Yeah, Fayaz, uh, please turn on your camera so that we can see your smiling face. Hello, sir. Very nice. Yes, Fayaz. Uh, yes, sir. I said, my name is Fayaz. Actually, I am not working in, I'm not in job. No problem. You are just a person who is a student, right? Yes, sir. Yes, now okay. I am starting the first. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, and why you are a student? My cousin told to do safety purpose. Okay, you want to start the safety career. Okay, thank you, Fias. Thank you. Actually, I... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Fias. I just put you on mute. Please uh, turn... Turn your mic, unmute. Yes, you are on mute, please. You can do it. Hello, yeah. sir. Yeah. Actually, actually, I am in, not in WhatsApp group, sir. Can you add me, please? I could not listen you properly. I'm sorry about that. Hello. Hello, are you here? Yes, Fias, what you are saying? Actually, I am not in your WhatsApp group, sir. You are not in the WhatsApp group? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, please mention your number in the chat here in the zoom okay we will be adding you okay sir no okay thank you uh anything else to ask no sir no okay the next is uh, i don't know the name the name is in phoenix the name is in phoenix hot 12 play this is the name so who is having in phoenix mobile Please come up on the mic, turn your camera on, and introduce yourself to us. Infinix Hot 12 Play. Yes. Yes, you are the one who raised his hand. Yeah, whoever is not added in the WhatsApp group, he would be added, huh? Fezan, we will be adding you, huh? Don't worry. In case if you don't get added by today, just remind me once we would be, uh, we would be about, uh, we would about to finish our session. Okay. Next is who is who was in Phoenix? I guess he left. Okay. Uh, Next, there is one guy whose name is Akib. Akib, please come up on the mic, turn your camera on, and introduce yourself to us. Hello. Are you listening, sir? Akib. Okay, next is uh, Mah Mahmoud Al Balushi. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Walaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. So, I am based in UAE. I am an FLS engineer. I'm 
taking this course because I'm planning to start my uh, career in HSC as well. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much, Mahmood. And what is the meaning of FLS engineer? What, come is, what comes with Fire that? and uh, life system. Very nice. So, uh, fire alarm system, uh, firefighting systems. Nice. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So you will be helping us a lot once you will be having our discussion regarding the firefighting chapter. For sure, for sure. Great, great. Okay, and uh, who is next? Thank you, uh, Mahmood. Thank you. Next is uh, MD Suhail Akhtar. MD Suhail Akhtar. MD Suhail Akhtar, if you are speaking, we are unable to listen to you because your mic is on mute. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam, Rahmatullah, Barakatuh. Sariyat. Alhamdulillah. My name is MD Suhail Akhtar, Muhammad. I am from India, State Jharkhand City, Jamshedpur. So my qualification is intermediate. Yeah, right. Okay, very nice. Very nice. And uh, who is next? Uh, yes, is done. Is done. In Phoenix, hot 12 play, who is he? Please turn your camera on. We are unable to see you yet. Akib Khan, okay. Okay, Akib Khan, please uh, tell us about yourself. My name is Akib. From India. Now I am a professor. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I am complete in plus two in India. Right, right. Excuse me, sir. Okay, fine, sir, fine. Thank you, Akib. Akib, I want you to please. I want you to please change your name. You know the sessions are recorded. Okay, and that is why everyone has to mention his name over here because this is your attendance. Okay, so everyone who is joining, he must mention his name as per Nibor certificate. Okay. Sir, now I am not uh, adding. Just, group no problem, just sir. leave the group, just leave the group and uh, join back and then mention. In case if you are unable to mention, then just leave the group. I, by the way, I guess you have changed your name. It's appearing, Akib. Okay, thank you, Akib. And uh, who is next? Next is uh, Sir Akhtar is done. Uh, Nawaz Khan. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Salam alaikum. Sir, my name is Nawaz Khan, as, as you know. Sir, recently Hello. I was given the work as exam of in the month of February, but uh, I am Nepal. That's why I'm received the exam. Right. Uh, in India, I also job uh, in Gujarat, uh, and the project name is GFL2 as a health and safety officer. And uh, right. I am doing report because I want to grow my career in HSC field. That's right. why I'm doing this. Right. Right. Thank you so much, Nawazan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Akib, you raised your hand. Akib, you raised your hand. Do you want to say something? Please unmute your mic then. Sir, could we not add in WhatsApp group? Yeah, whoever is not added in WhatsApp group, as I already requested yeah. you guys to please mention your name as well as your number, okay, in the chat box, you will be added. Okay, one. Second, in case you, if you are not added right now, okay, 
you would be added uh, after the break inshallah okay mm -hmm. okay fine thank you okay and now who is next next is noor muhammad yes sir assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh sir main noor muhammad rtc mein hu aur alhasa se supervisor mein hu aaj chapter supervisor very nice okay noor muhammad you are in rtc c alhasa okay thank yeah. you thank you and uh, next is umar al turkmani yeah, assalamu alaikum. Um, my name is Amr Kumani. Uh, I am construction manager. Uh, I enjoyed this one the classes to add a, a, a positive for my career. Oh, very nice. Very but nice. Your, your face is very well known. I don't know if you see me before. My face is very well known. Yeah, I see you before. This is not the face. In which organization you are working? Cat. Yeah, on Barry, right? Yeah. I was your ex uh, area training coordinator. Ah, yes, yes, no, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. fine. Uh, now, uh, who is next? Uh, Pradeep. Pradeep. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, I'm very yes, fortunate to get this chance to introduce myself. My name is Pradeep Kumar. I belong from India. Now I am uh, working in uh, Dubai as a safety officer. Right. Right. Great. Okay. Uh, next is after Pradeep, there is Ramesh. Hello, can you see me? Yes, Mr. Ramesh. Yeah, because I'm traveling, so are you able to see me? Is it okay? To everyone? Yeah, we can see you. Yes, please continue. Yeah, uh, so like, uh, I'm like, 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 I yes, belong uh -huh. to India. Now I am in uh, Saudi Arabia as a medic, medical. So oh. I am interested to be a HSC officer so in the oil field. So that's why I'm just doing up Nebos. All right. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Saha. Thank uh, you, sir. Next, next there, there is one name. Uh, Samsung SME135F. Yeah, hello, sir. Can you, can you see me? No, we cannot see you. I cannot see you because there is dark. Yeah, hello. Can you see me, sir? Yeah, and, and your back camera is turned on. See, we want to see your smiling face. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Akib Ali. I am from India. Now I am working as a as a safety officer in Al Hasa city, Saudi yeah, Arabia. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, in project okay. pipeline, and I am interested to do Nibos. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, Akib. Akib, uh, please join us back while leaving yes. the group. Okay, leave the group and join us back. Mention your name. Okay, because remember for uh, for all the participants. Yeah. this is your basically attendance okay once you are joining us okay the attendance would be coming with the name which you would be mentioning over here yeah sir one problem uh, there is one guy who is also at who is also um, joined this he delete the message delete the message 
and uh, is there any problem if you delete, delete the, the message, message which uh, what does that mean delete the message you delete the message of uh, meeting meeting number and uh, meeting no problem password. you can you can just forward your message to him and he can join us okay thank you sir welcome uh, the next is vijaya kumar nitor Vijaya. Hi. Uh, good evening. My name is Vijay Kumar. I am belongs to. Yeah, I am working in UAE as a security manager. Uh, I am. I am from India. Uh, Can we see your smiling face? Yeah. One second. Hi. Uh, hi. Myself, Vijay Kumar. Yeah. Mr. Nice meeting you all. Uh, see, I have been working in FM industry. Uh, and security industry uh, more than 16 years. Uh, uh, oh, currently, my designation is uh, security manager in Dubai. Uh, this uh, Nebosh, I think this is uh, uh, security and safety is a uh, is a parallel mm -hmm. thing. Uh, parallel, uh, yeah, there is a concurrence. So oh, I uh, would like to do the Nebosh course. Uh, right, right. Okay, okay. Oh. And who is the next? Next is thank you so much, Mr. Vijay. Next is thank Zheng you. Feng. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Hi. everyone. Uh, I am uh, Zheng Feng from China. So I work in Saudi Arabia as a safety manager in Macca Metro project uh, for the uh, mainly for the operation safety. So I want to improve myself in the nebosh of the IGC and the safety and the health. Uh, so, right. so uh, thank you all the, all the guys. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Zeng. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to see you. And over here we have new participants. One is Hassan. One name is mentioned mentioned as Hassan. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Hassan, please turn on your camera. Okay, just one second. Yeah. Okay. So my name is Hassan Al Nas. I'm from Saudi Arabia. My major is uh, mechanical. I'm a mechanical engineer. I want to take this Nebush course to add to my career. Okay, okay. Thank you, Hassan, uh, for introducing yourself. And the next is Abdullah Hassan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdullah Hassan. I'm resetting the IG1. Okay, okay, fine. Good luck. Uh, yeah, and you were so my much. previous inspector also. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, next is uh, Adil Nisar. I guess uh, uh, it's done. I guess all the guys are done. Who is whoever is remaining? Shah Nawaz. Yes, Shah Nawaz is remaining. I'm also sir, remaining. Mohammed Ashfaq. Yeah, then please come. Come on the mic, turn on your camera, introduce yourself. Yes. Yes, sir. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Did, did yes, you see me? Yeah, we can yes, see sir. you. Yes, Ashwak, tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm in uh, Abu, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, UAE. Right. I'm working in the civil foreman in construction company. Yeah, right. And I'm taking to this Nibosh for increasing my like uh, job. Knowledge. Okay. 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 Yeah. Fine. Got that. Got that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shwak. Uh, there is uh, one named Shanwaz Alam, I guess. Yeah. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. Salam. Yeah. So I'm. Um... Working as a safety engineer in Saudi Arabia from six years. So I'm trying to get this uh, IGC so I can get uh, more knowledge about safety in the coming days. 
It's good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there is one name, one F M D O S K. A long name is written, which is I cannot read that name. Uh, can you please come up on the mic and introduce yourself? Still, new participants are joining. One new participant, Oppo. Okay, well, guys, uh, I think Oppo has not connected. Oppo CPS, the guy who just joined us. Please introduce yourself. Sir, may I connect it? Yeah, you are connected, but your name is very hard to read for us. Oh, I think uh, I did not complete my uh, profile. No problem, no problem. Tell us about yourself, please. Um, yes, sir. Uh, my name is Furkan Khan, and I am from India. And now I am doing to work in Topic Qatar as a storekeeper. Uh, but I want to be a HSC official. All right, great, great, appreciated. Okay, the next is uh, one name Oppo. Oppo, I guess he has left. Okay, so I think all are done. Now I think I should be introducing myself. Uh, some of you guys are already uh, well known with me. Okay, even if someone is not knowing me with the name, face is familiar. My name is Badru Rahman, and uh, I would be your instructor today. Uh, not only today, throughout the session. Okay, and uh, regarding me, uh, brief introduction. I am certified for Nibosh, I OSHA Safety Media. And uh, since 12 years, I'm conducting uh, HSE sessions. And uh, I hope so with me, you would be enjoying this training. What would be our method of uh, studying the book? Our method would be just to relate the study with the practical scenario. So you should be having a mind connectivity. Once you would be on the side, you should be having book in your mind and you would be physically presenting on uh, yourself on the side. So in that way, I'm sure that we would be learning more. And uh, regarding Nibosh, I hope so everybody would have a basic idea about Nibosh. I would be just giving you two to three lines and then we would be starting because we are already running out of time. Uh, before we, before I continue, I should have asked it earlier, but I did not ask. I'm sorry about that. My voice is clear to everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Great. So guys, uh, we are having two books and two exams basically. Okay. These two books are one, we call it IG1. Okay, International General Certificate IG1. The other one is IG2, IGC2, we call it, that is uh, International General Certificate 2, Book 2. In Book 1, what we are going to discuss in Book 1, I'm, I'm not going to go in detail, I'm just giving you the headlines. In Book 1, we will be discussing the health and safety management. That how do we perform health and safety, how do we manage health and safety on the job site? Okay, so IG1 is related to the management. Guys, uh, one more thing, those who want, who want to record the meeting session, this is to inform you that the meetings are being recorded and on daily basis, I will be sharing you the link so that you can later on watch the videos, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. So, Fezan, wow, you raised okay, your okay, hand. Okay, yes, you. you want to say something? Yes, sir. Actually, just due to some connectivity issue, connectivity issue, I was not able to connect with you from the beginning. So, just I want to inform you regarding this. Okay, okay. Fezan, we were just talking about the course that we would we would be having. Uh, yeah, I'm having one doubt now. 
okay uh, we we would be having two books we would be studying two books okay one of them would be one of them would be ig1 and one of them would be ig2 in ig1 we will be discussing health and safety management system that what exactly health and safety management system is okay what are its main components starting from making the policies procedure planning its implementation and we would be leading it up to safety audits or measuring performance okay so we will be discussing in ig1 we will be discussing complete health and safety management system okay it would be discuss or it would be discussing by the way the job procedure or what you call safe system of work or safe work procedures we will be discussing in ig1 in ig2 what we are going to discuss we will be discussing hazards and their controls that what are the workplace hazards and how do we control them for that purpose we will be discussing uh, general industry as well as the con construction industry both hazards will be discussing mostly nibosh focuses on the general industry but of course we have to discuss both so what we will be doing we will be discussing uh, all those of course which are mentioned here in the book plus all those which you would be asking me based on your job site okay because we are not studying over here just to uh, get the passing marks in the in the course okay everyone has said once you guys were introducing me all of you guys have mentioned that you want to improve your knowledge so once you will be improving your knowledge automatically first thing you will be getting pass so you don't need to worry about the pass so and if you are running after the passing marks i don't know you would be increasing your knowledge or no so focus on increasing the knowledge okay and of course exam would be coming later on regarding the exam after the introduction of both the books the third important point is exam regarding the exam what i will do at the end of both of these books okay or at the end of this complete in the board session we will be having one separate class inshallah if you will be having time one separate class in that separate class what we will do we will be uh, getting any of the previous exam and we will be learning over here that how we are going to solve that exam okay once we will be having a practice exam solved over here you guys would be having an idea that once your exam will be coming in front of you how do you have to react how do you have to attempt the exam because in the exam you guys would be having one scenario okay and in the and in that scenario usually this is usual procedure one accident or incident would be would be mentioned over there so based on that scenario you guys would have uh, would have to answer some questions but remember those questions be, those questions would be based on the scenario but you must relate those questions with the book as well how do we do that in the last session i will be explaining you regarding that okay i hope so all the points which i have mentioned till now are clear yes sir yes sir okay okay thank you now again yes, for all those who joined joined us late ig1 is basically related to health and safety management system ig2 is basically related to hazards or workplace hazards and their control and exam would be discussed at the end of the books once we will be finishing our course okay so you don't need to worry about the exam inshallah we'll be discussing it will identify that how we have to solve the exam or how we can solve the exam now uh, proceeding to our uh, first book that is ig1 i would start highlighting okay that is ig1 and that is basically uh, we call it ig1 or igc1 international general certificate we are going it is having four elements we are going to discuss our first element or our first chapter 
ओके एलिमेंट वन और चैप्टर वन इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाई डू वी हैव टू मैनेज वर्क प्लेस हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी वर्क प्लेस द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ वर्क प्लेस हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वंस यू ज्वाइन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू ज्वाइन बेस्ड ऑन सम फैक्टर्स वट आर दो फैक्टर्स वन ऑफ वन ऑफ देम इज दैट इफ और वाइल आई वुड बी परफॉर्मिंग माई जॉब अवर देयर वट अबाउट माई हेल्थ एंड वट अबाउट माई सेफ्टी इफ आई एम आई वुड बी रिमेनिंग हेल्थफुल और द इन्वायरमेंट इज सेफ एंड हेल्थफुल फॉर मी of course i have no issue to perform the job over there usually the environment which are healthy and safe to perform the job for the workers workers are performing their job with more confident over there okay remember we have to manage health and safety at workplace question is how do we or why should we manage that how do we manage that we are going to get the answer in today's lecture first uh, first uh, slide is all about the learning objective which i already have explained you but line by line we'll be proceeding so that it would be easier for you to understand one important thing guys in case if i am asking you some questions and or if i ask you some, one question like what do you know about it it does not mean that you guys have to give me the answer from the book it means that whatever comes in your mind please share it with us you might be right you might be wrong no worries about that okay all of us we are here to learn i used to say my 80% of the knowledge is because of my attendees because of my participants why because once they are asking me the question most of the time if i don't know i used to search on those questions then i get the knowledge and i answer them okay so very important thing is in case if you are having any question in your mind if you are having any doubt in your mind okay you can ask me over here my number has been shared with you it is added in the whatsapp group and i especially mentioned myself that this is brother your instructor okay so you are you guys are having my number in case if you cannot ask me any question over here if you feel hesitation you can ask me the question over there in the whatsapp on on the whatsapp number in case if i forget something you can send me the reminder over there this is my personal number this is not my official number okay so you can you are having the access complete access to my number why because i don't want to have a gap among us clear yes sir okay now mr fazan you have raised your hand sorry sorry to interrupt you sir but uh, no still uh, we are not uh, i actually i am not uh, aware with you and still uh, i don't know your name as well so if you don't mind can you introduce yourself बदर बदर रहमान ओके थैंक यू सो मच सर राइट नाउ ओके यस सर ओके नाउ आई थिंक ऑल द बेसिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैव बीन गिवन टू यू गाइस एंड यू गाइस वुड हैव वेल अंडरस्टूड दैट यू डोंट हैव टू फील एनी काइंड ऑफ शेम व्हाइल आस्किंग मी द क्वेश्चन और व्हाइल आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चंस second important thing i would be giving you uh, some very important assignments okay assignment would not be more than half hour maximum on daily basis but that assignment would be helping you in memorizing the whole chapter we have studied okay so you spend half hour and you will be memorizing so many things and it would be easier or those assignments would be helpful for you while solving the exam finally someone mentioned something in the chat okay <clears throat> uh, regarding the whatsapp group and if you guys have not been added till now in the whatsapp group okay i will be adding you in the break or i will be asking someone i'll be requesting someone to add you in the break okay because i i don't want to use my whatsapp right now otherwise it, uh, you know 
too many messages are already there in the in, inbox okay uh it's done yes i guess it's done yes. all all things are all important things are done oh, one second i have a question yes rami yeah actually uh, my job is uh, completing by 5:30 i have a uh, time to reach in the coverage area it may go up to 10 minutes on delay so today is just an introduction session only but from tomorrow we will directly go to the class yeah so you have told that record a video you will put it in whatsapp or uh, yeah uh, we need to download from zoom yeah i will be putting it in the whatsapp group that would be those would be the links of the zoom you can download them you can watch them easily okay you don't need any separate or spare or special paid software okay yeah so don't worry about that if someone is getting late he can of course join us because all of you guys are professional guys and this is not a school class uh, uh, that i have to ask time you is to come 10 to 20 minutes i am late no worries no problem no worries no worries okay. no problem okay <clears throat> so uh, i guess all the basic information have been given and uh, now i would be going to uh, to the learning objective regarding the timings guys first day telling you very important thing we are not concerned with the time okay we have to join on time starting time is our concern okay we are concerned with the starting time that we will be starting at 5:30 but ending time we are not concerned we are concerned with the course content if we would be able to finish the course contents on daily basis whatever is our dose if we would be able to finish that within like 1 hour or 2 hours khalas class is over you are i would be setting you free okay and in case if we have to set up to 10:30 which would be in uh, india's 1 uh, o'clock i guess 1 am right so yes we would have to okay because we have to cover the course contents and i'm sure we would not be setting uh, up to that much time but this is just to inform you that we are concerned with the course contents okay uh regarding the breaks our breaks will be with the sala time or the prayer times okay our first break would be as per my time huh? as per my time over here that would be around 6:25 6:20 to 6:25 it would be getting changed with the prayer time if the prayer times goes away i mean 6 uh, it it goes 6:20 6:25 6:30 we would be adjusting our break in case if comes back again we would be adjusting our break we have we will be having two prayers maghrib and isha acha okay so for both of the prayers we will be having half hour of break and uh, i guess one hour of the break throughout the session is enough right so this would be our methodology for throughout the session and uh, let us go with our learning objectives what are our learning objectives just to give you a strong connectivity with the previous slide that we are going to discuss why do we have to manage or why should we manage workplace health and safety we are going to discuss this for that purpose we are having some set goal or learning objectives what are our goals or what are our objectives in this module in this chapter we are going to discuss the moral social and financial reasons for managing health and safety in the workplace different organization different employers they are managing health and safety because of different reasons three main reasons or three basic categories are there one of them is moral one of them is social and one of them is financial reason what are these reason what is the meaning of moral reason what is the meaning of social or financial reason we are going to discuss all these in details in today's session the next is we would be able to explain how health and safety is regulated once we talk about the regulation of health and safety means what about the health and safety uh, health and safety's implementation 
the rules and laws which we are setting to implement the health and safety how we are going to implement these rules and law uh, these rules and laws on the uh, job site or in different countries what are the methodologies to implement or to get them implemented on the job site then we will be discussing the consequences of non compliance in case if i am the one who is uh, breaking the health and safety rules who is doing the citations on the job site what are the consequences as an employee i have to bear or if i am the employer i am the company i am the manager or the directing manager whoever i am representing the company if i do something what are the consequences or what are the results or the outcomes that i would have to face in case if i don't comply if i don't follow health and safety rules and regulations then Uh, we would be uh, in the third uh, third learning objective we would be summarizing the main health and safety duties of different groups of people at work starting from the managing director uh, directors then uh, see, you can say this is the top management then senior management which in which we are uh, we call them uh, managers and coordinators and supervisor then up to labor you can say what are the main health and safety duties of each of them okay what are their health and safety duties and how do we manage them what do they have to perform while they are on the job site who is responsible for providing the necessary resources we will see all these over here the last one which is very important for us and usually uh, almost in uh, in out of three exam in one exam we are having one question from this part this part is explain how contractors should be selected monitored and managed oh, sorry and managed in case if you are the one who is the manager of your organization and you have to select different contractors for example civil electrical mechanical okay if you have to uh, select different contractors based on your job requirement to whom you are going to select what is the set criteria based on health and safety and we will try to identify that whatever nibosh would have mentioned over here the documents do we submit those documents while we are we want us to be selected for example i would be calling the name of aramco which is very famous over here and a very uh, huge client in case if we want aramco that aramco should be selecting us what are the documents they are asking us and what are the documents we are providing okay then aramco how do they monitor us how do they select us how do they monitor us and how do how do they manage us sometimes different contractors they have to work on the same premises on the shared premises okay in that scenario what about their interfaces how we are managing them in case if the if the conflicts are coming over there how do we manage them we will see over here this is very important for you guys in case if you are working in an organization where for example we are working uh, in organization a and if you guys are having a contractor b who is working parallel to you okay your job scope is uh, your job scope is uh, like civil the other the other contractor job scope is uh, steel erection the other contractor's job scope is somehow related to some kind of mechanical activities the other contractor is related to uh, it and uh, security so if all these are working together how do we manage them how do we manage all these interfaces this is what we are going to discuss in this module in the topic in module 4 of our today's lesson moving to the first module or the first element 1.1 that is about the reasons of 
that is we are going to discuss the moral social and financial reason for managing health and safety in the workplace first we are going to discuss moral reasons as well as the financial reasons regarding the social re uh, regarding the social reasons we will be discussing them later uh, later on okay and uh, over here moral and financial uh, reasons for managing health and safety at the workplace before we discuss these we need to have a basic understanding regarding the basic terminologies what are those terminologies those terminologies are health safety and welfare guys you are having you are achieving uh, that or you will be achieving and you are having the training of igc1 international general, general certificate which focuses on health safety and welfare remember we don't have any part specifically or we are not discussing the environment right now over here the part of environment would be coming a brief part but of course our main focus would be regarding health safety and welfare the question comes over here what exactly is health what is safety and what is welfare health is basically as it is mentioned over here the absence of disease or ill health okay i give you very simple definition of health that is the inner well being or the protection of your inner well being let me write it over here the protection of your inner well being is called health in the health we discuss stress okay we discuss psychological mental ill health we discuss diseases or we protect you from diseases okay we protect you from any kind of sickness like if we talk about covid 19 which we have been trained properly that was the health issue clear okay the next is safety safety as nibosh mentions absence of risk of serious personal injury what does that mean the physical protection of you and your surrounding i will say it's all about physical protection okay in the safety what do we discuss we discuss some kind of physical injuries okay for example bleeding we discuss about broken bones okay we discuss about burns okay we discuss about the accident which damages our premises okay so this is all these are basically the concern of safety to have a better understanding among health and safety or between health and safety remember there is no proper border line but yes in case if we have to define in this way we are defining them another another uh, way of having a better understanding regarding health and safety is health is your software okay the protection of your software and safety is the protection of your hardware Reg remember without windows without software i cannot operate the system okay without software i cannot operate the system in the same way without hardware without having the keyboard i cannot operate the system if you are having windows copied in your usb do you think you can do something no you need hardware you need some kind of screen you need mouse keyboard everything to give the commands right so the difference between health and safety is just like the difference between software and hardware which are both interrelated they are interlinked they are depending upon each other in case if the hardware is damaged automatically software will be damaged for example if i get the injury over here can i get the infection there 
infection is the health concern right can the germs or bacteria or the virus can attack over here yes they can attack right so in case if you are having physical concern or if you are having the concern of the safety ultimately we will be having the health concern in the same way if you are having the health concern safety is of no use Rega giving the example you of covid corona once we were having covid if someone was infected with covid you guys would be having an understanding regarding the covid if someone was infected physically you were not getting a single scratch on your body but internally it was damaging you although your safety your physique is perfectly fine but you could not you were not able to walk why because of high fever right so remember in case if we are having health concern safety concerns will be automatically rising in the same way if we are having safety concern health concern would be rising automatically okay now the next is welfare welfare is all about the provision of the basic facilities what are the basic facilities you need on the job site do you need to purchase water no. while you are on the job site no sir or company provides you yes this is the basic facility company provides you what about your resting shelters company. do you create your own own resting shelters no company provides you right do you do you get do you get transportation do you manage your own transport uh, own transportation or if company manages you in in case if the company is not providing you the company's bus then they are giving you money in your salary so that they you can manage means transportation comes in the basic facility right regarding yes, the yes. toilets who manages who manages the toilet okay company manage all these things so what are your basic necessities your basic facilities okay this is being provided by the company all these will come in the welfare facilities clear guys yes sir i hope so the difference between health safety and welfare is very clear regarding the environment this is just for your information regarding the environment guys environment is all about the protection of your surroundings okay over here we will be taking environment as the safety concern but separately yes we have to manage the environment for example temperature comes in the environment for example lighting comes in the environment right so but over here we will be discussing all these together guys uh, it's a prayer time over here so let's have a break break of 25 minutes or 30 minutes what do you say 30 minutes of break okay 30 minutes. right now it's 626 on my watch we will be back at 650 uh everyone must join on time 650 sharp i will try to get uh, i will try to join back earlier okay and uh, we will be starting from the same point okay and uh, what else what else what else yes whenever whenever you are going to join please mention your name in the list okay once you are joining before joining type your name as per nibosh what you have written over there as per nibosh registration mention your name there because this is your attendance so that's all guys i am going to disconnect and uh, we will be back at 6:15 inshallah and we will be starting from the same point same place thank you and goodbye goodbye sir